So, finished my work day. With our new hours, we were supposed to be out at 9.45. It's now 10.45. I closed an hour later. Good day to Webians. It is a very, very, very oh, tiring day here. Basically got into work and we had more news. In which I'm going to say now. A couple of days ago we had a phone call. One of our work team members had been diagnosed with COVID. Now I'm not affected by this because I haven't worked with them in over two weeks. So that's me out the bag. One of our managers got paranoid because he was working with them mostly and base, you know, had to go home to get tested. By saying he has to go get tested, the store manager said, right, you have to go home right now, you're not allowed back to work for 10 days. So we lost one manager. So I was covering the shift there, hence why the 13 hours. Today, I come into work, well, I get a text to say, hey, new store hours, we're gonna be open till nine, so you're here till 9.45, not 10.45, so come in an hour early. I'm like, okay, come into work. A second manager has decided to dive out because, bless her, a family member of theirs who's living with them got tested positive. So they need to get tested. Again, kept my distance so I'm not affected by it. So now I'm picking up their shifts. And what I'm supposed to have as a, clo you know, a day off tomorrow, I'm doing a closer again tomorrow. I would have closed earlier tonight, but I spent just after nine o'clock with these customers in furniture helping them get their purchase of maybe over twelve hundred dollars sorted with their financing and get it into their truck with one help fucking i'm working myself hard i'm running around and i'm doing the counting of the money of that night and i'm like you know, it's there, it is what it is. I'll come in tomorrow, I'll see if the managers tell me, hey, this was off, that was off, this was this, this was that. I'm like, you know what, I'm pissed off as it is. And I'm doing this as best I can. So you're gonna get the best that I got, or otherwise you're gonna be one more manager down. Don't fucking test me, I will put my foot down. And I think after New Year, like I said, I'm gonna speak with the manager and say, hey, listen, not for nothing, I think after the holidays, I'll still work with the company, but I'm stepping down from being a manager, I'm not doing it anymore. It's too much fucking hassle, and with everything going on, I'm not fucking doing it. I am so fucking done with retail and this essential worker bullshit. You know, since this whole thing of COVID has started, I've not had a decent fucking break to begin with. I've been on my ass, well not on my ass, I've been on my feet every fucking other day helping out the two stores, working at Dollar Tree and my store right here, right now. I've been working my ass off with that and I've not had a break, I've not had time to pop my feet up properly to take a week vacation or anything like that. Other fucking managers have. They get time to have week vacations, do this, do that. Me, I've been working my fucking ass off to the bone for less than minimum wage. Now, put your fucking minimum wage up to $15 an hour, stop prattling around and stop making me part-time and make me full fucking time and let me fucking help with assistance. Because if people are going to turn around saying, you know what, I'm going to call away, I'm going to get tested, you know, it's basically going to get to a point now where I'm just going to look my manager saying, you know what, it's going to have to be, we're out of the fucking job for the next 10 days or so. For the next week, we have to shut the store down. And I feel it's going to fucking come to that. And if it does, that's it. That will be my opportunity to basically slam my fucking resume down onto other companies and say, that's it, I'm done. Get me out. <sighs> I am so fucking done. I am so pissed off with today and yesterday. Yesterday, the 13 hour shift, that was bang out of order. And then today then dealing with all this shit, bang out of order again. Well, actually no, Monday. Monday with a 13 hour shift and then today then with what's going on here and the extra hours. At least I'll get Saturday off, but still, bang out of order out of that. I, it is bang out of fucking order. I am pissed off. <sighs> and I've had very little food. All I had was a wrap from Subway and that's it. Maybe a Werther's original. 
that is all my fucking food. I am cranky, I am tired, and I gotta be back in again tomorrow to do the same fucking thing again. And hopefully this time with less of furniture and just getting the money done, getting out early, and getting the fuck out of there. And people think now, you know, oh, we salute you for doing your best as an essential worker. Yeah, saluting us is not doing fucking anything. We're running around risking our fucking lives for minimum wage our hazard pay is fucking gone that extra two dollars that we used to get yeah fucking gone months ago we're not taking we're not being taken care of properly we've been told keep your six feet wash your hands disinfect everything and be nice to the customers even though they are fucking stuck up insignificant twat bags we still have to fucking deal with it Every fucking day we have to smile there behind our fake smiles of a fucking face mask and say, have a nice fucking day. Fuck. I got coke, so I think I'm gonna just, I got some whiskey in the house, I'm gonna fucking either have that or get fucking shit face drunk. Pandemic during the holidays is a terrible fucking combination and exclusively in retail. It's put me into consideration either the following now of either find a different place, go to a different state, different city, or basically pack up my things, get my husband sorted with immigrations, and we both move to fucking Wales. I am so fucking done with this. So fucking done. on it at night. This is a somewhat, I would say early -ish night, but I would be lying, it's after midnight. I just sat in the house, had Chinese food, had a drink, and at the same time just really just needed to cool off tonight. Oh, I'm just feeling so shit and shattered that I'm back in tomorrow. One, same again, 1.45 to 9.45. Because... Well, yeah, you know. But I'm gonna use this time to relax, curl up, get some sleep if I can. And it's fun because I'm closing tomorrow and then Friday I am having to be up at six o'clock in the morning to be in work at 8.45 till 4.30. Although I'm gonna calculate and see. Charles, my manager said if it calculates up to 40 hours, anything over that, basically that's going to be knocked off. So, for example, if Friday I'm working 8.45 till 4.30, and that 30 minutes knocks over the 40 minute mark, theoretically I can go home 30 minutes early. And if they complain and say anything else, I'm just going to say, well, pay me overtime. Either you pay me overtime or... Bizy daisy, I go homey. And I think I'm gonna have to do that. So anyway, I'm gonna call the night, get some sleep if I can. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and if you have, as always, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand spank new day, and hopefully it'll be better than the rest. But until then, take it easy, guys. Nostar. No